Hello, good morning and welcome to uh, the press conference for the official launch of the new EU OSHA Healthy Workplaces campaign on working together for risk prevention. I'd like very much to welcome uh, three participants. We have first uh, Dr. Krista Sedlacek, the Director of the European Agency for Health and Safety at Work in Bilbao, Commissioner Andor, of course, Commissioner for Employment, Social Affairs and Inclusion, and Mr. Bo Smith, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Employment, representative of the Danish EU Presidency. So, with no further delay, I pass the floor now to Dr. Krista Sedlacek. Thank you very much. Um, dear Commissioner, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to introduce our new Healthy Workplaces campaign for 2012 and 2013, entitled Working Together for Risk Prevention. Our Healthy Workplaces campaigns are now the biggest workplace safety and health campaigns in the world, uh, but there is still an urgent need for them. Every year in the EU, over five and a half thousand people die as a result of workplace accidents, thousands more die from occupational diseases. The equivalent of one every three and a half minutes. By the time I finish talking to you, the chances are that another European employee will have died of work-related causes. And these fatalities are only the tip of an iceberg, many thousands more European workers are living with consequences of accidents or diseases such as psychosocial disorders. We can put a financial value on this. We calculate the cost of workplace accidents and Ill, Ill health as being around 4% of GDP in the EU or 490 billion euros every year. But the human cost cannot be so easily worked out. What we do know is that most of these accidents and cases of ill health are preventable. Lives could be saved if we did more to follow the simple well-known principles of risk prevention and indeed risk prevention is the cornerstone of Europe's approach to keeping workers safe and healthy. For many years now, the importance of risk prevention and the obligation that employers have to carry it out have been a major focus of European legislation. But legislation in itself is not enough. We also need to establish a preventive culture which enables the promotion of workers' health and empowers all actors at company level to take responsibilities. In our new campaign, we'll be focusing on a fundamental aspect of risk prevention and workplace health promotion, the fact that we need to work together to do it. Of course, it is managers and the organizations they lead that have the main legal responsibility for keeping workers safe. A good leadership is vital for a preventive uh, culture with visible commitment from the people at the top but the most effective results are achieved if workers and managers join together. That is why the campaign is focusing on encouraging bosses and top managers to show leadership in actively engaging in risk reduction and workers, their representatives and other stakeholders to work together with managers to reduce risks. There is still action to be taken at this is where our Healthy Workplaces campaign can play a major role, offering simple and practical guidance to working together. Indeed, we know from research that whatever an organization's size, leadership and the active participation of workers are crucial to successful health and safety management. Our own European survey on new emerging risk or ASANA survey shows that enterprises where there is good commitment from management and high levels of workers' participation are 10 times more likely to have a proper health and safety policy in place. Of course, running a successful European campaign on the scale of ours means working with the big European players. Over the year, 
We have benefited enormously from their support and we are delighted that our new campaign again has the backing of the European social partners as well as the EU Council presidencies, the European Parliament and the European Commission. I'm very grateful to Laszlo Andor and to Bo Smith for being here with us today and I'm very pleased that our campaign theme, Working Together for Risk Prevention, fits so closely with EU priorities on safety and health at work and inclusive economic growth. Our campaigns are just about working with uh, the big European institutions, though they only succeed if our messages can also reach workplaces in the furthest corners of Europe. That's why we're drawing on all our experience of working with our network of partners, with our focal points, for example, who are the national occupational safety and health representatives in the EU member states, with the Enterprise Europe Network, which is a vital bridge to Europe's small and medium-sized enterprises, and with our official European campaign partners. The result of our recent pan-European opinion poll give us good reason for optimism that the campaign will be a success. On the whole, the poll shows that most EU workers feel confident that if they raise a health and safety problem with a supervisor, it will be addressed. Most European workers also consider themselves to be well informed about occupational safety and health. But there are big differences between EU member states and the key aim of our campaign is to share good practice in risk prevention and workplace health promotion among companies of all sizes in all sectors, wherever they may be in the EU. In these difficult economic times, our Healthy Workplace campaign sends a strong message to organizations that might be tempted to see risk prevention as a cost or even as an obstacle to job creation. The evidence is clear. Investment in workplace health and safety reduces absenteeism and staff turnover. It makes businesses more competitive, not less. The campaign's ultimate aim, though, is to reduce accidents and illnesses. Get it right, we'll start to see a fall in the estimated cost of workplace accidents and illnesses and the human suffering that lies behind it. I hope that uh, organizations and individuals throughout Europe will join us in working together for risk pre prevention. Thank you very much. Thank you. If I pass the floor now to Commissioner Andor. Thank you. Uh, Director, State Secretary, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be here with you today to mark the launch of uh, this new Healthy Workplaces campaign. And first of all, I would like to congratulate the European Agency for Safety and Health at Work for having organized this important campaign. The European Commission attaches a particular interest to this campaign, especially because its theme, working together for risk prevention. It fits very clearly into the EU policy on health and safety at work, as well as taking into account the broader context of European social policy. The campaign is also fully in line with the EU strategy on healthy, health and safety at work 2007 to 12. For example, in the way in which it is organized with its very strong emphasis on partnership at the European national and also local levels. Every year, approximately 6.9 million workers are victims of an accident at work in the EU and 23 million persons report a work-related health problem. This results in a high level of absenteeism and a lost productivity with around 450 million calendar days of sick leave. The loss in quality of life that results from work-related health problems and accidents at work is the price paid by workers, companies, and the whole society. A more effective prevention can save billions of euros that the European economy loses every year as a result of this. Protecting the health and safety of workers is a task to which the European Commission is strongly committed. The results of the fourth European survey of working conditions, for example, show that 35% of workers in Europe feel that their job puts their health at risk. However, workers 
are also increasingly concerned about the prospects of having a job at all as the global economic crisis continues to affect us. Therefore, it is very important that even in these difficult times, we get health and safety messages through to organizations. This official launch of the campaign is an appropriate moment to recall that investing in occupational health and safety is also good for business. It contributes to the competitiveness and productivity of companies. On a very political level, there is also growing evidence that involving workers in workplace health and safety is the more effective approach. And let me highlight the connection between our health and safety uh, campaign and other important initiatives of this portfolio. The employment package presented by the Commission on the 18th of April also underlined the importance of healthy and safe workplaces especially in the context of making it possible for people to extend their working lives. The success of the pension reforms depends on whether our labor markets manage to deliver higher employment. But we cannot expect people to age actively, healthily, and in work if our workplaces do not provide the conditions for this. This is a particularly relevant aspect, especially in the context of our current European year on active aging. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commission is currently carrying out the final evaluation of the strategy on health and safety at work, 2007 to 12. And on the basis of the results, the strategic priorities and areas of action on health and safety at work for the period after 2012 will be set out in a communication that the Commission will adopt before the end of this year. The contribution of the agency to this process is crucial and highly appreciated by the Commission. The Danish Presidency is also organizing, in cooperation with the Commission, an important conference on health and safety at work at the end of June. We sincerely thank the Presidency for giving the Commission and the stakeholders the opportunity to discuss the results of the current EU strategy and the priorities of the future. I wish the Agency all the best with the new campaign. As always, the Commission is glad to cooperate with you and work together towards the improvement of health and safety at work conditions in the EU. I am convinced that the resources and efforts that the Agency is investing in this campaign are not only positive for workers and companies, but also for the whole European society. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner. Now I'll pass the floor to Mr. Bo Smith, the representative of the Danish EU Presidency. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, the Danish Presidency would like to extend its support to the EU campaign working together for risk prevention. It's very important to focus on safety and health at work, especially in light of the challenges that European companies are facing in the increasingly open and competitive economy. In the coming years, the main challenge in the global economy will be the strengthening of European companies' adaptability and competitiveness. This must go hand in hand with the development of sustainable social and working environment conditions. There are many examples of good and responsible corporate governance in companies where workers are involved in decision-making regarding safety and health. These companies are not only characterized by good safety and health conditions, that are often productive and innovative at the same time. No one can doubt the importance of preventing risks in the workplace. Work-related accidents and illnesses mean high costs for workers, for their families, for companies, and for society. Therefore, there is a need for action at European level to promote risk prevention and strengthen safety and health at work. In the future, companies' own working environment efforts must play a central role in the EU's overall prevention efforts. Legislation, external specialists and inspectors are important, but we need to encourage companies to strengthen their focus on cooperation within companies on health and safety and on creating a culture of prevention. When both management and workers play an active role in prevention, I'm convinced that we have the necessary preconditions for better safety and health at work. 
There is no doubt that management has the overall responsibility for managing workplace-related risks, but the responsibilities and much of the work associated with this effort will be bound to fail unless the workers are involved. It is motivating for the workers and their representatives to participate in the preventive work as it is in their own interest to have a good health and safety at the workplace. Therefore, to consult workers and their representatives on health and safety issues must be a fundamental principle of good and efficient management. And this principle is already an integral part of European legislation. But it is just as important to encourage workers to cooperate and participate as the workers often have the specific knowledge about the risks in the workplace and can su suggest concrete, efficient solutions. I therefore find it very important that this EU campaign promotes the core message of how important it is that top management shows leadership and commitment by giving priority to health and safety, safety and encouraging workers to cooperate and participate in the company's preventive health initiatives. Finally, I would like to express the Danish pres Presidency's appreciation of the, of the agency's work in organizing the campaign in preparing the informative campaign and guidance material. I hope that companies and all relevant stakeholders will welcome this campaign and its message and that the campaign can help lay the foundation for a culture of prevention in, in the European companies. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, if you were the participants are ready to take any questions you might have, so please raise your hand and say which media you are from. Don't see any questions. One last try. Yes, over here. Caracciolo, the Italian press agency, Hansa. In Italiano, se è possibile. I'm going to speak Italian. So, volevo sapere se I mm, wanted to know gli incidenti sul lavoro sono aumentati there's been an increase in the impact on work eh, but are there any figures eh, available are there any statistics riguardo, eh, con la crisi economica cioè nel senso se and this linked to the economic crisis diciamo, so anno, what I mean is that over the last year or two le aziende hanno investito di meno sulla tutela del lavoratore nel l'azienda a causa delle difficoltà finanziarie ed economiche e se c'è, uh, stando appunto alle, alle statistiche, un aumento so direttamente collegato alla crisi a causa della, del minore impegno delle aziende rispetto alla sicurezza sul lavoro. Maybe I can start um, to answer your question. Of course, uh, we had a lot of discussion with our networks, company networks, and also partner at national level, but we have no evidence-based figures or facts. Uh, what we can uh, uh, give you as a feedback is that, the, of course, I think uh, several companies are thinking about when sa uh, how to save uh, budget and uh, money, and then, of course, sometimes occupation safety and health is one of these issues where they start to save money. But in general, we get also a feedback, and I worked before in Germany for eight years um, in, uh, in cooperation with companies, and companies also recognize that it is crucial, especially after the economic crisis, crisis that uh, people are qualified and that people stay healthy. So they don't think about to decrease the budget for he self safety and health, but think about models, how during that time uh, to improve the health and safety and also the, the qualification of people. So no evidence-based figures. Uh, the, f the companies are, I think, uh, negotiating also with the social partners inside the company about their strategy, but uh, we can't really see that uh, companies go only for uh, decreasing budget for occupation, safety, and health. 
Commissioner? Just one point to add uh, that uh, it's difficult to analyze the crisis impact also because uh, uh, very often it's not the number of cases which is uh, the most relevant but the change in the nature of uh, occupational risks and accidents. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, an obvious and well-known consequence of the recession is that uh, construction industry experiences a, a sharp decline and that with the contraction of uh, economic activity obviously uh, results in less occupational uh, uh, accidents uh, than before. Nevertheless, uh, of course, the recession is not a good thing in itself, uh, but, but the, the, the change in the trend is not necessarily something which we can draw a long-term conclusion from, especially because these have been the years when the previous campaigns, the previous efforts and strategies have brought results, many results in, in various EU uh, member states. So it may happen that despite uh, recession uh, times, a recession link, uh, financial difficulties, there have been an improvement because of the previous policies and directives in this area being implemented in uh, uh, EU uh, countries. And just one more point that very often the, the, the nature, the type of risk um, is changing as a result of the crisis. So we clearly see a rise of the psychosocial uh, risk and various uh, consequences of that uh, at uh, the workplace. So we have to see how uh, uh, new types of strategies have to address uh, these types of consequences. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. Are there any more questions? I don't see any, so thank you very much for, for coming and have a nice afternoon. <laughs>